Good morning, friends. It is Claire from Woodshed Theory, and today I am hopefully completing my blonde journey, my video trifecta to blondness. So if that sounds exciting to you, please stick around. Hey y'all, it's Claire from Woodshed Theory. I put out content three times a week. It is the morning, so I'm a little bit sleepy, but today is the day, I believe, that we will finish our journey to platinum, maybe to dye it a crazy color later on so that we have like a good base, but today it's just going to be platinum because I figure if you work so hard for something, you should keep it for a while. It has been one and a half weeks since I did my last bleach bath and I'd say right now I'm at a livable point with the blonde. However, if you watched my Whey product review, in the light you can definitely tell that my roots are lighter than my ends. So the plan today is, number one, do another Olaplex treatment, which I probably won't show you all of because we did that last time. Two, do a bleach bath just on the midsections of my hair. Not on the ends, not on the roots, just on the sections that need to be lightened one shade. And that should be it. Oh, and then I bought Demi Permanent Dye to tone it, not T18. So I think everything's gonna go well. I've really been enjoying this journey with you. I hope that you've been enjoying it too. Is today the day that the yellow goes away? <laughs> I have already put on the Olaplex Zero and the Olaplex Three treatment. I let the Zero sit for 10 minutes and I think the Three has been in there for about 20 minutes. So I just wanted to add this section in really quick because when I bought the Olaplex set, I wasn't sure how many treatments I was going to get, and obviously it's very expensive. So I thought you'd wanna know that I just did my third treatment with this set, and I think I have one more treatment left. So if you have long hair like mine, you can probably get four treatments out of one set. So it's still expensive, but I don't know, for some reason I thought it was gonna be one treatment for the price and I was just not having that. So four treatments for long hair out of these two bottles. So I've got about 1.3 ounces of lightener in there. I'm gonna go in with the 30 volume developer and I'll put 1.3 ounces of that in there. Now I'm trying something new today. This is the Ion Absolute Perfection Booster Step 1. It's what I've heard people say is the additive dupe for the Olaplex. Now we're going to take some sulfate-free shampoo. I'm going to put in 1.3 ounces. I've got damp hair. Got my concoction. I think we are ready to put our gloves on and get started. Will this be the time? Will this be the time my hair falls out? I'm starting in the front this time again, just because I feel like those pieces are more yellow. You all ain't even ready for this cap. 
Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes and check it. See what we're working with, probably wash it out, maybe 15 minutes. All right, it's been about 10 minutes with the cap on, so let's see what we're working with. Okay, my hair, slowly lightening, still feels strong. So I'm just gonna leave it in for probably 10 more minutes and then wash it out. Was an old lady who lived in this shoe. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Maybe we have to do another bleach bath. I don't know. I hope not. Looks similar. My surprise, it lifted about half a level, if that. And I want it all to be just a little bit more lifted. So we're gonna do bleach bath round two again here we are i don't know how much bleach i have left though so i don't know if i have enough to do this okay this is all the bleach i have left about the second round of this, but this happened last time too, where I'm like already seeing that the second round is going better. But I, it's the same formula. washed out the bleach bath number two. It is, you know, it's getting there, but we can't bleach it anymore today. So it's gonna stay that way. Before I put the dye in, I'm going to dry it on cool for a little while, because I got, this time, I got Demi Permanent Color and 10 Developer. Things I've learned so far, I am not Guy Tang and I cannot get my hair white in one session. So I've dried it before the toner and looking pretty good. I was hoping to knock all, I didn't do my roots so I don't freak out. I was hoping to knock every little last bit of the yellow out and I haven't but I, it's so close that you can barely tell. So I think we'll be okay when we tone it. It might even everything out because it's so close. I'd rather be a little yellow than bald. see you in 20 minutes. Hello dear friends who have gone on this journey with me. So we have done an Olaplex treatment today. We have done two bleach baths and we have toned it. And that was supposed to be the end of the story, but the demi-permanent ash toner that I used, it's not my jam. It's not ugly. I'm just not meant to be such a yellow blonde. So I ran over to Sally's and picked up some T18 and some yellow remover and we're gonna retone it. 
and I normally wouldn't do this much to my hair in one day, but I'm finally at the point where I'm tired. I am tired. I don't want yellow hair, so I'm gonna fix it right now. It's like, look, it's beautiful. But it's just not maybe the right color for my personal skin tone. Definitely getting there with the taking all the yellow out. I feel like with the toner, we'll be there. <sighs> I'm tired. I am tired of uh, making my hair blonde. Today was supposed to be the day. Today will be the day because we are going back in with the Wella T18 and we are taking the yellow out of my hair. So I think what we're gonna do is go in, retone it. We have T18 because I like how that looked last time and I have an Ion red gold remover. Also, because I've been focusing on this all day, I haven't really eaten, and now I'm hangry. Whew. This stuff looks like jam, so that's fun. Okay, it's looking pink. See you guys in 20 to 30 minutes. It is on and I know it's not gonna stay this color, but I actually prefer this color to the yellow it was. So let's we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be, maybe it'll be lavender. I don't know anymore. We made it, it's over. What a day. Hey friends, it is a few days later and I didn't want that to be the end of the video because by the time I was done, I was feeling so dejected and it really wasn't perfect. I had left the toner on for too long. I thought I set a timer, but again, I was really tired and I didn't. And it turned my hair just a little bit of a gray pinky purple. I knew I could fix it, but it wasn't happening that night and my attitude was not fun anymore. So I decided to give myself some time and really show you the actual end result and how pretty it turned out. After my little mistake at the end, I did a dish soap and lemon juice rinse. Then I did a final Olaplex treatment and I did use some purple shampoo after the Olaplex treatment and that was a few days ago. So I've had this hair now for four or five days and it looks beautiful. Maybe you can't see it past the largest pair of eyelashes that I own, but I wanted to give the full effect. My hair feels pretty healthy. I was able to keep the length. Everything is even. I'm really happy with the result. My roots are a little bit darker and that's what I wanted. But in the end, I was able to get the color I was looking for, and it looks really beautiful. I did wanna go over a few things that I learned throughout this process, just to give you some information if you think you might wanna do this yourself. Uh, first thing I learned was that this process was not cheap. 
I know if I went to a salon with my hair length and had them do this to me, it would it may have taken several sessions and it would have been very expensive. I mean, upwards of maybe a grand. So in that way, I saved money. But I also w made sure to buy all of the products that as close as I could that they would have used in the salon anyway. And all in all, for the three videos, the whole process, I probably spent around $150 to $175 on Olaplex and bleach and gloves and brushes and additives and hair masks. It was expensive. So that's just something to think about if you want to do it more the right way to get a better result you'll be spending a lot of money when you're going to a professional you really need to consider that a lot of the price that they're adding in there is not just for their time or how long it's going to take to process your hair it really also has to do with the cost of the products so they're not out money on the products and it gets pretty expensive number two this was so time consuming. Whoa. It took so many hours. I'm in shock. I really wasn't thinking it was going to take three different sessions. And that's not including the time I put in to researching and learning all about how to do it the right way, writing that all down, doing the color oops, doing the uh, hair treatments to make sure my hair was healthy after each round. At least 16 hours. At least. Just to get my hair to this color. And I think I'm a pretty patient person, but this even tested me. So it is staying this color for a while because we worked hard for the money. I wanted to mention how much time it took because maybe you might think, okay, I want to do it at home. But if you're not willing to put the time in to get it correct and you're going to have to go to the salon anyway and then pay the money and take the time at the salon, it's just something to think about before making the jump. Number three. Something I learned is that you can learn something online and still not be able to execute it like a professional. I felt like I had all of the information and there was still some hiccups along the way. I didn't think it was going to take three sessions to get my hair to this color, to get my hair all one color. I did not think that the toner I did the third time was going to turn my hair pale, pale yellow. But I did do all of my research, I felt. So just something to think about. And I've watched so many videos of people bleaching their hair. Sometimes you have the best intentions and you go in there with what you think is all of the knowledge, but you don't bring with you the practical experience to be able to do it well. And I think that's why sometimes you'll watch videos where girls will say all of the right things and then still you're watching them do it and it's maybe done incorrectly or it doesn't come out the way they think it will. And that's just because you can't YouTube and buy your way out of experience. So it's just something to think about. The fifth and final thing that I wanted to point out is the patience. I was really hoping that one session and I would have gotten here. But this has taken two and a half weeks to get to this point because I did let my hair rest after every session. And I also was doing the treatments after every session. By the end, I was just over it and I wanted it to be done. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with that, but if you get to that point, you can really mess up your hair. I was tired, I left the toner on for too long. All of that kind of thing really adds up with the health of your hair. And I wanted to 
warn people against doing it themselves if you're not a patient person, if you don't feel like you can take gaps in between when you're putting bleach on your hair because it does need a break and not being a professional at home, it just takes a long time and you know, you really have to weigh the money and the time at the salon to the money and the time at home. And is that something that, you know, if you're going to mess your hair up at home and then have to go to the salon anyway, you'll be out $150 maybe, and you'll be out of all that time and you're still going to the salon and spending hundreds of dollars to get it fixed, maybe not the best idea. I am extremely happy with how my hair came out. It looks super beautiful. It is still really shiny and healthy. I did give my hair a trim. I did lose maybe half an inch in length and that's even with the treatments. So another thing to keep in mind, bleach is damaging to the hair. You may lose some length But that's it guys, that's my hair journey for now. That's where it's staying for now. I really love the color. It has a bit of ashiness, which does a lot better with my skin tone. It's not too yellow with my pale skin. And I love it. I am so excited to be blonde. I'm really enjoying it. And I hope that you enjoyed this journey with me. If you have any questions, please, Leave them down in the comments below and I will see you next time. Bye guys.